The study began in 2018 with researchers from Yale and Environment Canada measuring carbon gases emitted by 17 facilities in the Athabasca oil sands by flying over them. Industry records emissions at ground level. What they found was emissions were 19 to 64 times higher than what the facility owners were reporting. John Leggio is a scientist with the federal government. He co-authored the study. He says he believes there are more tools that industry can use to get more accurate readings. It's probably not feasible to be flying a plane, you know, every every month for, for a whole year with all of the very expensive and, and complex instrumentation that we were using on the aircraft. Um, but we did have some in, uh, novel instruments that are relatively simple that showed us that there was a discrepancy between the total uh, that we measure and the total that, that is reported. He says the emissions are not the greenhouse gases that lead to climate change, but they can lead to health issues downwind of the sites. So the issue with having these um, high emissions is that ultimately all of these gas phase compounds end up forming particulate matter downwind. Um, sometimes near, sometimes far, and, and along the way. And PM, we know, is a health issue around the world. It's similar. The PM is similar to PM that you would expect to be exposed to, for example, from forest fire smoke. APTN spoke to Chief Alan Adam of the Athabasca Chippewan First Nation in northern Alberta. He says the report is no surprise to him. We've been doing our own community-based monitoring program uh, since probably way back in 2010, 2009, uh, we we do water sampling and everything and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we've been finding uh, samples of uh, abnormally, I guess it's not, not right in the ecosystem and stuff like that. And this just confirms the fact that uh, what they found, we, we've been finding all along. Adam says industry and government need to talk to Indigenous peoples to find a solution. The report is is uh, astonishing um, when you look at it. Um, does it really have to be that way? Uh, could it have been done differently? I think, you know, in our view, uh, it could have done uh, a lot better if we had uh, just did what we told industry all along what needed to get done because the First Nations were right all along. In a statement, the Alberta Ministry of Environment said that in the past decade, per barrel emissions have dropped 21 percent, and another 23 percent drop is expected in the next decade. It goes on to say, we stand by our province's regulatory and monitoring approach while recognizing that we need to keep learning and evolving. It does not mention any upcoming meetings to discuss the report's findings. Chris Stewart, APTN National News, Edmonton.